Good afternoon, everyone. This is Brimster, and today I'm coming to you with Flower Power by Goose and Frostbite. Um, I don't know if it's the age of Aquarius, but this is the puzzle. Um, here is the musical I've seen the second most in my life. Um, until last year, it had been the one I'd seen the most. I've seen here nearly 30, I think it was 28 times um, back in 1993. Yeah, I'm old. Um, so anyway, uh, Flower Power by Goose and Frostbite. Yesterday's puzzle was by Frostbite and Goose. I have no idea if they did a dosi do or something, but um, these uh, Frostbite and Goose, or Goose and Frostbite, are students of um, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, and they sent this in. I don't know if it was part of their coursework or anything, but I'm really glad that people from the class are sending in puzzles. I think I said this yesterday. So, yeah, I'm I'm absolutely going to uh, present them. Cool puzzles are cool puzzles, and these were tested by the class and recommended. So, yep, going to look at them. Uh, what else is going on? Um, in a couple of days when the competition for um, sending in submissions to win copies of World of Sudoku Volume 8 um, ends, um, I will do a puzzle from the book. Um, I have spoken to Akash and I will be able to do that. So I will bring you one of the 120 puzzles from the book. Um, two people will win a copy of the book and everyone else can go and buy their own. I believe the physical copies are going to be about $9 US. Um, is what he's hoping for, and the PDFs will be about six fifty. So um, for the um, amount of puzzles and everything you get, I I may be completely wrong on those prices. Like, please don't. I I am not quoting you a, a price here or anything. If you go to Amazon and they're more than that, that's a that's something between a cash and Amazon and PayHip and everything. I don't. I'm not involved with that. I'm going by what I'm told that they're trying to set up and everything. All of this is subject to change. Do not use me as quoting prices. That's not what I'm doing here. I am. I believe that is the hope. Um, so yeah, um, but even if they were double that for the puzzles and everything that you'll be getting, it would be worth it. And I don't think it'll be double that. So yeah, give it a try. Um, and if you aren't one of the people who win, or even if you are, get a copy. They're worth it. Um, so Let's have a look at Flower Power by Goose and Frostbite. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. There's a king's move constraint in this one. I think yesterday it was a knight's move constraint, which I forgot for most of the duration of the puzzle. Let's see how long I forget the king's move constraint for. So cells that are a king's move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. And what that means is basically, if you pick a cell, nothing that touches it in the square around it can repeat that digit. So normally these cells here, well, that one couldn't, but you know, normally these cells could be an eight or let's say they these could be a three. You know what I mean? There's an issue here, but these could be a seven maybe. Normally those cells could be a seven but in this puzzle they can't be because none of those cells could be a seven. So those aren't seen by normal Sudoku, but they are seen by King's Move. And digits in boarded squares must be even and digits in boarded circles must be odd. That's all we've got. It's an odd even puzzle with a King's Move constraint. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer because I loaded this one up yesterday when I loaded up icicles. Let's give this a shot. This is an odd even puzzle. I'm absolutely going to start by coloring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find all of the odd cells. And I'm going to mark them in yellow. Then I'm going to find all of the even cells. And I'm going to mark them in blue. Oh, okay. Flower power. You've got the central of the, the center part of the flower. And then, um, which is, and then you've got the petals coming out of the center part of the flower which is more obvious to see if I, let's reset the coloring and let's do it with just this. You've got the center of the flower and then you've got the petals coming out of the flower. That's very cool. Okay, now I'm gonna remark all of these other digits. So these are odd and these are even. Okay, now I've got four evens in this row, so they have to be odd. Um, I've got oh, I've got four evens in all of the in those boxes and this box, so they have to be odd. Um, I've got five odds in this row. This has to be even. Uh, I've got four evens in this column. They have to be odd. I've got five odds in this box. This has to be even. 
Four evens in this column, they have to be odd. Four evens in this column, they have to be odd. Four evens in this row, they have to be odd. Four evens in this box, they have to be odd. Four evens in this box, they have to be odd. I've only got three, e uh, I've got five odds in this row. This has to be even. I've now got four evens in this box. They have to be odd. I've got to put two evens in this column to finish column seven. That will make all four. So this has to be odd. I've got five odds in this row. So this has to be even. One of those is even. One of those is even. I'm not sure I can actually finish that. But let's do some Sudoku. These are two, four, six. There's probably a better place to start. Like this is a four, six pair. So this is a two, eight pair. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a six looking down. This is a four, this is a six. So these are two and eight. Four is in one of those two. That doesn't seem to be the thing. Might not be. This is a three because I can't put three in any of those. So this is a one seven pair. So this is a five nine pair and this becomes a one. So this becomes a five. This becomes one seven and nine. There is no seven there. There is no one there because of the digits down here. Five now can't in this box yeah this is the five because five can't be in those two this becomes three nine the nine makes this three and this nine this is now one and seven and the one here means this is the seven and this is the one now these are from three five and nine and that's not a three no, it's not a five either that's a nine so this is three, five, or nine, and it's not a five. That is not a useful triple. King's move. <laughs> oh my God. King's move. King's move. This can't be two, four, or six because it sees all three of those cells. So if this was a two, I couldn't put two in this box. The same with this. This is an eight which means this is an eight by Sudoku. These are two, four, and six. These two can't be six because they're both seen by that cell. This is the six. <laughs> I knew it would happen. Um, eight is now in one of those two because eight can't be in those two, but um, uh, do, do, do. this can't be four or six because it sees four or six. So this is two, eight. So this is now four. So this is two or eight. I've got a two, eight pair. So this becomes four, six. Right. This two, eight means that's not two, which means two is down here, which means lines up with that being two. This is fine. This can't be eight. So eight is down here. So this is four or six. I need a four, six, eight with eight being here. Eight can't be, this can't be four, six or eight for the same reason. If this is four, I can't put four in any of those. Those two by Kings move that by Sudoku. Same with six, same with eight. So this is a two. So these are four, six, eight. I've now got a four, six, eight. Eight must be in one of these two. Four, six, eight triple means this is a two, which means this is not a two and this is a two. which means this is a four and this is a two. That means this is the eight and this is not the eight. These are two, four and six, but this two sees both of those. So this becomes the two. The four looks over making this six and this the four, which looks down making this the six. This becomes the four, this becomes the six. I can take six out of both of those and that becomes a four, eight pair. Now I need to put a four in one of those two and a six in one of those two. Not there yet. Now there's no six here.
Okay, maybe now I jump to odd. How odd. These are 1, 3, and 7. So this has to be the 9. It's the only place for the 9, which makes this 7 and this not 7. 1, 3, 7 in here. These, I've got 1, 5, and 9. So these are 3 and 7. Five in this box has to go there, which means these are one, three, seven, and one has to go in one of those. That's not a seven, and it's not a three. This is the one. So these are three, seven, and whoops, three, seven, and nine. And seven has to be in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. That makes sense for the nines I've got here. Seven is in one of those. I'm... Oh, this eight sees that. So that's two and that's eight, which means this is two and this is eight, which means this is four and this is eight, which means this is four. This is six, this is four. That means this is eight, which means this is two and this is eight. I've got to put a six in here. That four means that's not the four, this is the four. This is now odd, which means it's three, five or seven, and it's not seven, it's three or five, and there's a five looking at it. This is the three, this is the seven, and this is a five, six pair. Neat. Maybe. These are three, five and six. This can't be a five. This can't be a five. Neither of those can be five. That's the five. So this is the six and this is the five. Neither of them could, these could be five because they're both seen by fives. So this is odd. This is even. So this now is three, which is odd. This is even, which is six. And now I've got all the odd even done. In fact, I've completed the even part of the puzzle. There was no seven in either of these for ages because of the invisible seven, which means this is the seven. This one looked up making this three and this one. This one seven resolved this ages ago, and I just missed it. So these are one, three, and seven, and that seven there means that's not the seven. This three looks down, meaning this is the one. So this is the seven, which means this is the one. There's no one here. This is three, seven, but seven here makes this three and this seven. The seven looks across, meaning that's not the seven. This is the seven. This five looks up, making this nine and this five. The nine looks down, making this three and this nine. And I'll use that one to look up, making this nine and this one. And if I remember the king's move constraint, that's a really nice, easy, approachable puzzle. Nice way to start the week, um, though it's the end of the week for me. I'm recording this a few days in advance. Um, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I'd had some really hard puzzles for a while, and I know the puzzles that I'm getting from the students of Full Deck and Missing a uh, Few Cards tend to be on the easier side, but they are newer setters who are exploring and creating puzzles to be done in class by a class. So they're not trying to create puzzles, at least my understanding is they're not trying to create puzzles that are going to take people a long time. This was a really nice coffee break puzzle. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, good fun. Um, thank you very much for submitting it. I, I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you're saying, oh, this was way too short, there are nearly 600 puzzles in the back catalogue, including some absolute doozies. So feel free to go to my video list and scroll back a year and a half and look for a puzzle that's got a longer time frame on it. There'll be a heap back there that many of you have not seen. Um, so, you know, lots of puzzles out there to, on the channel to explore. Um, and yeah, that I, I'm sure you can find something. So uh, if you felt this one was too short, grab something from the back catalogue. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the puzzle and as always, good luck with your solving.